To create your pinhole viewer, you're going to need five pieces. This illustration shows the three different types of pieces that you're going to need. You'll need one piece that looks like this. You'll need two pieces that look like this. And these are slightly different than this piece in that these will have tabs on the side. So you'll need two pieces cut out of this. It is best if your template pieces are cut from black poster board. Once you have those drawn on, begin cutting them out carefully with the sharp scissors. Taking a look at the same illustration as we started with, the dashed lines show where you need to use a ruler and either a ballpoint pen or a super sharp pencil to draw straight lines. These lines will be lines in which you're going to fold on, except for the square that has the X in it. That's going to help you find the center of that square where you're going to put the pinhole. Now you're going to use a very small paper punch and you're going to paper punch a hole where the X cross meets in that square that you drew the X in. Next you'll want to cut out the window and the other square. You can use either a scissors, you can use a paper punch actually to punch a small hole and then put the point of your scissors in there and cut it out that way or you can use an X-Acto knife as long as you're using a cutting board to protect the surface. Where that X crosses, you're going to just paper punch that out and that's going to be the pinhole. It's drawn in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut um, that out. But first I'm going to draw my line again just like I did the other side. And then I'm going to score on that line so that I break those paper fibers so it will bend. All right. To cut this piece, what you can do is you can take the paper punch and just punch a hole in it. And then you can get your scissors point down in there and cut. Or if you wanted, you could use an X-Acto knife and cut onto a cutting board but it is entirely up to you how you want to do that and what materials you have available. All right. So this actually is going to be what we could call our film. Now, the other lines that you're going to draw is you're basically going to draw wherever there's kind of like a little V point, you're going to connect that. So I'm going to connect this across here. And again, that's just making tabs for us so that it's going to be easier to fold. And so again, just those little V marks that are straight across from each other. And one more on this big template. All right, so there's the first one. Okay, now that we have all of that done, you're going to use a piece of tracing paper and that's going to become the screen. So what you want to do is around the little window frame that you cut out, the box that you cut out is a little frame, be generous with some glue stick and then stick that tracing paper on there. Now you want to try to be as smooth as possible and not have any wrinkles in your tissue paper. So that's going to give you the clearest view when we get everything finished. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all my folding on all of my little tabs and all of my lines that I drew. And you'll notice how easy that folds since it's been scored. And then we're going to use rubber cement dry mount to put everything together. That. You just want to kind of get everything. You'll start to see how this is going to become a little rectangular shaped box. So what we're going to do is then it's going to go together like this. And these tabs will go in and the pinhole end will go on there and the screen end will go on there. So wherever two pieces of cardboard are going to touch, go ahead and put rubber cement and we're going to let it dry. This is going to make a really strong bond. So this is going to touch this piece right in here. So I'm going to rubber cement that. These little tabs on top here are going to get glued. All right, and those are going to touch inside here around this edge. So I want to put rubber cement around that edge. And then lastly, these smaller tabs, those are going to need to get some rubber cement. And again, we're letting our rubber cement dry so that it creates a strong bond. And then those little tabs are going to get glued to the inside of this box where we have our screen. Now you want to be careful that you don't slob a whole bunch of rubber cement on the screen itself because that's going to cloud your view. You also want to fold the tabs that are on the sides of these pieces. Don't worry about the bottom pieces right now. Just want to worry primarily about the side pieces and this will just be on two of your pieces. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put some rubber cement on those tabs and allow those to dry. Then on the corresponding pieces, the other pieces without the tabs, you're just going to run some rubber cement right along that edge, and that edge, and then the same on the other one. And it doesn't matter which side you do it on, just so you do it both on the same side. Okay, then you're going to let all those rubber cement pieces dry. Okay, now I have the rubber cement is dry on the box piece itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put together the piece here. Now the neater and more careful you can be in putting this together, the better it's going to be for light being light tight. So I'm going to press that down. And you'll get those tabs inside and you'll press down. Those edges and then this piece you'll press down to secure those. Now, around the end where the screen is, you're going to want to put some rubber cement just right around this edge. And you're going to want to let that dry also. So we'll set that off to the side. Now, to finish putting my pinhole viewer together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the um, outer pieces that has the tabs on it and I'm going to take one of the pieces that does not have the tabs on it but they both have rubber cement on them. I'm going to line up those rubber cement areas and stick that on. And I'm going to take the other 
piece with a tab and I'm going to line it up to the non-tabbed piece and then to finish it off I'm going to use my last piece and put them all together. Now one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rubber cement just on the inside on those tabs at the bottom and then I'm going to let those dry before the next step. Okay, to finish up then you're going to take the rubber cement end of the box and you're going to put it into the rubber cement end of the tabs that we had and you're going to stick those on. Now it's not going to become perfectly light tight so to make it more light tight what you need to do is take some electrical tape and you're just going to put it right around that seam. Trying to cover up any little light holes that might be shining through and you can kind of look through it this way to see where you've got light shining through. And then go ahead and trim that off without smashing everything, kind of stick it in there. You may have to stick down the screen a little bit and that's pretty light tight so that's what you're going to do. Now when you go outside what you're going to do is you're going to look through this end and you'll see what's going to be seen on the screen as if this were the lens and this were the film of your camera. Okay so now you've made your pinhole viewer and you're ready to use it so what do you do? Well, you kind of look like a character from Star Wars, perhaps. But what you do is you put up the wide end, that is the screen end, up to your face, and you completely cover your eyes, and like your nose will be inside the screen, and you look through the pinhole, which is down here on this end. And when you look around, it's best if you're in a light environment. So I would suggest you go outside or look out a window so that you can clearly see what it is that I'm trying to get you to understand. And that's your pinhole viewer.